What is going on YouTube Nation? This is the Darth Dividend and welcome to my channel. This is Funrise Friday. I usually try to get uh, videos on Funrise. I try to get them every Friday. So this is Funrise Friday. Uh, I'm going to discuss my uh, Funrise portfolio. And I got an email. I was actually on break at work and I saw this email and uh, I was really excited. I, I know that there's some things that are going out with um, real estate took a huge hit, but Fundrise is still going strong. They're still making acquisitions. So here's their latest acquisition that I saw on April 16th. So this is pretty exciting to see Fundrise get the ball rolling. They gave us a heads up that, you know, there could be problems. And here's what we got. So they have, um, let me just read this, a DC area industrial development project. So they said, as customers demand faster delivery times, we believe in last minute distribution facilities located close to major population centers, which will become increasingly important for online real, uh, realtors. So they have like a, a DC gateway. So they discuss how close, and they show a radius on this image, how close Washington DC is, from this gateway, uh, Arlington, Virginia, uh, Alexandria, Virginia, Tyson Center, Virginia, and Springfield. So the population right around this radius that they have is 150,000, a three mile radius, and a five mile radius, uh, 394,000. So this is one of their acquisitions they made. So here's uh, what they said. We recently acquired an industry industry property in Springfield, Virginia for approximately 15.7 million with plans to develop a new class A distribution center on site. Located less than 30 minutes from downtown Washington, DC at the intersection of two major highways, we believe this is an attractive location for online retail businesses seeking to efficiently serve customers with short delivery times across natural, a national capital region. So, they are discussing, they're showing how um, the bug that's out there might affect the investment. So this is what they said in their response. We believe that the existing long-term trend of more shopping, um, more shopping moving online has the potential to be further accelerated by the current pandemic. While consumer spending more broadly is likely to decrease in the short term, the percentage of that spending that is occurring online is likely to increase substantially. This trend may maintain itself over the long term as customers who adopted online delivery for many household items or groceries end up not going back to their previous routines. So they have a map. This is their strategy. They showed how department stores are going down and they show the e-commerce sales, how they're going up versus department stores going down. So I'm kind of noticing that with store capital uh, and I really need to look into this real estate investment trust to see what I need to do with it because I know the market took a hit, but this is somewhat relevant to what we're seeing. So they said, uh, dis despite social distancing requirements, we expect to be able to make steadily progress in the project over several months. As most of the initial work, it says architecture permitting can be done remotely. Once we, uh, once they're ready to begin construction, we may find that we are, were to actually decrease our budget as construction costs have historically come down during a downturn. So this is what they said, why they invested in that. So it's a prime location. So uh, that's on a beltway and the I-395, two primary local ro road uh, arteries. Basically, they called it a mixing bowl from the site. Uh, they have delivery vehicles, which would be able to reach most DC metro area uh, within a one hour drive. There's a, a growing e-commerce demand. They show the statistics and the strong, stable local economy. So what is this gonna be? This is part of the e-coast E-rate. So this is equity. So 
If we go to the e-commerce e-rate, the projected return is 6.6 .6 to 11.3%. Again, there's no promises. So let's go to my account. Overview. So let's see on my portfolio how the e-rate is. So I got right now $103.31 in dividends as of right now. I just posted my update for quarterly, but the last time I logged in, I made $4.54. So the compound interest is kicking in. Again, this is the quarter one 2020 dividend was $95.93. But let's look at, let's see. Los An There's a Los Angeles e-fund, it's still ramping up, it's taking a lot of time. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm waiting for that one to blow up because that's what I'm really excited about. Uh, East Coast, E Coast. Here we go. So I have about uh, I have a thousand dollars and fifty thousand fifty six dollars ninety cents. Uh, the cost of the shares own uh, the current NAV per share is eleven twenty four. Uh, the so far uh, this is promising. It's 9.7% of the portfolio. Let's just see what the fund details are. So I know I'm in the advanced one. So they're just showing me some 15 active projects, apartment renovation, stabilized apartments, new commercial development, Springfield, like I said, stabilized commercial, stabilized apartments, Atlanta, Royal Palm Beach, Orlando, Florida. So these are looking pretty good. So the East Coast, East Coast E rate, uh, it's a balanced approach acquiring both debt and equity investments and in commercial real estate assets located specifically in the East Coast region and intends to target the investments with fixed rates of return that maximize current income and equity investments with significant potential value creation. In particular, the E-Coast E-Rate intends to capitalize on opportunistic pricing inefficiencies in the East Coast multifamily market through acquiring value add and lease up properties. So da 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 da, providing senior debt, da 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 da. Um, here's their historical performance of their $10,000 investment uh, starting in January 2017. So if I put in $10,000, this is how much it's growing. Uh, they discuss their dividends on a, on a $10,000 investment. So right around 200 or so um, historical net returns. This is how I'm doing. Do, 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 do. So again, I'm in the balanced portfolio. So this is, you know, it's nice to see them still getting things going, even with my uh, portfolio taking a little bit of a hit. So Fundrise, well, not really my portfolio, but my real estate portfolio overall with my public and private rates. So things are looking pretty promising. I mean, they're just, the thing I like about Fundrise is they always give updates on what they buy. I, that's what I really like about these as a um, company. So April 3rd, they gave an announcement uh, about the fortress if you look at my previous video so you know the projects are still doing well uh, it's just going to take time and one day at a time again this is what i'm really looking forward to these e-funds and seeing these uh get going uh the west coast e-rate still op you know these are fully functioning but uh these um here's the income e-rate growth e-rate income e-rate so these are slowly going up so let's see how things are going with this but um you know a new project new excitement more compound interest how can you say no to being in fundrise i am going to keep on reinvesting my dividends i cannot wait until these two start going so dividends and appreciation I'm looking forward to seeing how much I make um, all time 
you know, it's uh, so far I've made one thousand three hundred eighty three dollars and sixty two cents. So this one, OK. Right now, I'm close. If I make a thousand on this one, I have a, almost at a thousand. I'm like nine hundred forty eight dollars because I made a purchase on my uh, E-Trade account. So I have almost two thousand dollars of passive income plus let's just calculate rich uncles how much let's just say 30 let's just say I'm making 35 times 12 so that's four hundred twenty dollars <laughs> kind of ironic because it's almost 420 but um, so let's just say you know I'm right around that mark now this is money that I put in didn't put it in the bank so I'm making four hundred twenty dollars a year go figure you know what's funny there's a a nurse I worked with, she's 50 years old. She goes, hey, I, I got an honest question for you. I go, what? She goes, what does 420 mean? I looked at her like, what? You don't know about that? You never heard about that? But I thought that was kind of funny. So basically, things are going on with passive income. So this is why I'm a big passive income fan. So I'm going to let my dividends reinvest and go from there. So the biggest thing, you know, is a fundrise investor. It's a five-year plan. They want to, they want to have you hold on to it for at least five years. I mean, why? I mean, if you're putting money in, it's gonna take time. So I kind of agree with their philosophy. So just take it one day at a time. Uh, I will keep you updated on projects that they are, uh, that they post about uh, every Friday where I'll discuss my dividends or how things are looking on portfolios or um, why I made a $10,000 investment. So those are things that uh, I will discuss in this video. So I appreciate you guys uh, watching my Fundrise Friday video. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Uh, always check for hashtag Fundrise Friday. Uh, make sure you um, subscribe to my channel. I do have an Instagram and uh, um, Twitter account, and I have a Facebook account. I need to get a little bit more active on that one. But uh, I like the way things are rolling with this channel. I, I really like to, I feel empowered to, um, from a lot of you guys that have channels. And uh, this is just my Funrise time. I have fun doing Funrise, so I call it Funrise Friday. So keep, an, keep a lookout on that on this channel just about every Friday and uh, we'll discuss Fundrise. You tell me how you're doing with your Fundrise account and uh, we'll go from there. So take care. You guys have a great weekend. I'm going to be picking up some shifts. I might uh, tell you about some new stocks I bought on mine. I'll just give you a hint. They're mostly banks. So um, bank stocks that are down right now. It's... If I'm being the S&P grade, if I'm not my E-Trade one, who cares? Let's focus on these other accounts. Let's be balanced. Let's be patient. Go from there. So you guys take care and have a good